The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay right here on EA TV for all the live action. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And the game begins. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, when all was said and done, Stuart, he wasn't a million miles away. No, he wasn't, because he generates so much power from that sort of distance. His technique is brilliant. Dallo. And on to Felix. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Dybala and he saw the situation developing Ronaldo Silva well credit to him for trying it didn't miss by much Dybala the ball with Martinez and winning it back And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Corner coming up. And deciding to go short with this one. Can he find the net? Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Alexis McAllister. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And that is the sort of tackle he had scripted in his mind. Martinez. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. A it's big moment here, Derek. Wonderful save there. And the 
quality of pass needs to be a bit better Di Maria Di Maria cutting inside and a fine stop Who can he pick out? A run to Rome on the wing. Opportunity to take the lead. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Couldn't hang on to it. On the offensive, body on the line. Messi with the corner. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here's the replay, and just look how close this is. But it's definitely the right call. That's technology at its best. Goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Number 22. Dybala It's looking promising Takes on the shot And there it is They take command in the final And just look at the celebrations here Again, it's a narrow 2 1 lead as things stand. Dallo. Bruno Fernandes. And denied again. And take it away. Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate but they do need to finish off one of these chances. Well, they're on the ball, and they've just got to forget about that moment of misfortune. Effort from long distance, and the keeper more than equal to it. Going short. Struck forward piece of goalkeeping. Rodrigo de Paul. Let's fly here. Well, it wasn't all that far off the target. Well, you're absolutely right. That was close, but the game is still very much. And the keeper dicing with danger. He takes aim, making sure it didn't get past him. Could be. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. 
Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Di Maria likes to get on the ball and he has teammates to pass it to. Joao Felix. It's with Guerrero. Real chance. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish that's a clever goal so back underway and let's see can portugal find another one Difficult to stop him. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Bruno Fernandes. Di Maria. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Full credit, wonderful stop. A corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. Just over the crossbar. And there to intervene. Diogo Dallo. Well, that's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And blocked for now. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, Argentina haven't had that. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Fired over by Messi. Threat over for now, it seems. He has time to play it over. Di Maria, chance to finish. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Long way out this. Oh, yes! He's going to be proud of that moment. What purity of strike. Caught it absolutely perfectly. Goal. Well, this 
is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Into the advanced position. But really sticking to the task defensively. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. McAllister. Di Maria now. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stuart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Silva, Fernando Silva sliding it through, and up for grabs off the keeper, just cleared away in the nick of time. Losing possession here. And Portugal regaining possession. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. A really intense pressure applied. Bodies forward and the break looks on. They need to get bodies back. Joao Felix! And a goal this time! Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. scoring contests this has been the game for you and they need to get tighter here oh fancy footwork and denied by the post on a time for composure on the ball that is that for the first half here. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Good tackle. This looks more than decent. Chance to reduce the arrears. And now it is there for him. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor. But he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. The tackle completely missed time and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. And he stopped them in their tracks. Fernandes. This could level it.
Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Well, for neutrals, this is a joy. 5-5. McAllister takes it on oh excellent diving stop let's see about the delivery and the danger still on timely intervention and in with a real chance denied by the bar back in play here well, they can bring it out now. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Yes, a really open flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Dybala. And no way through. A chance to whip it in. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Well, the stats back up what we've seen so far. Some good attacking football, chances for both teams, and plenty to enjoy. Let's hope for more of the same. Guerrero. The inside route looks promising. Intercepting it intelligently. Breaking at pace. Can they keep it going? Oh, it's in! They're in front here! Now can they stay in front? Felix oh managing to beat him well his teammate got him out of trouble Martinez excellent refereeing advantage in operation no worries for the keeper 30 minutes to go then. Just not looking confident in possession. Well, they might be onto something. And the keeper more than equal to it. And I must say that's very good refereeing going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion. Fired over by Messi. Went in strongly, decisively. Martinez. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. It's a short corner. He'll try his luck here. And fine goalkeeping. <laughs> Messi with the corner. Good pressure to regain possession. 
Lionel Messi. Romero. Martinez. Oh, it might be. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly. He gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. possession Martinez. Martinez moving into the advanced position he'll have a go here and pushed away to safety and the referee has given them a corner <laughs> let's see about the delivery and the problem not completely solved but it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. And the counter looks on here, options available. Twenty minutes to go. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, couldn't keep it. Oh, he's lost possession. Well, this would help them get back into the game. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Otavio. Felix, can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity, and momentum is with them. Well, just look at this again. It's good movement, the timing of the pass is perfect, and they leave the goalkeeper with no chance. That's an excellent goal. Couldn't keep the ball. Felix. Must score! Off the post and back in play. On a poor touch, really, and unable to prevent the corner. But he's gone short with it. Felix. Can he get them level? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. His fate lies with the referee who booked him earlier. And a little lucky to get away without a card. Might be his last warning, though.
Well, how can we put it? Not a free kick that's going to live long in the memory. Well, how we can put it, it's a poor effort, poor technique, probably the wrong decision as well. That needed to go into the box. Well, he's given us away. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. Well, sometimes advantage just doesn't work out. And the referee has awarded a free kick now. Well, the referee saw it as a bookable offence. And I think he's got it absolutely right. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Let's fly here! Off the post and back in play! And in the end, no damage done. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, dear. Well, that's not one that's going to linger long in the memory. Well, he had a go there. Nothing wrong with that. But he's got that all wrong. Intense pressure. Strong but fair tackle. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider a chance maybe from the wide position they get forward but time is very much against them here oh I can't believe it twists and turns in the closing stages and it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy incredible well just look how exposed the keeper is he's got absolutely no chance there but they do take it well you have to say level again here both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle now well, the attack will peter out keeper's ball and he needs to get it out of there oh what's the keeper doing and a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned. And it is the case that two yellows equal a red. Well, that was always going to happen. He just couldn't contain himself, could he? And deep into the penalty area. And a harmless cross gobbled up. Can he find the right pass? Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? And he'll take efforts like that all day long. A real struggle to contain him. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Well, sensible refereeing, you might say. Now he goes back and hands out the yellow card, Stuart. Yeah, that's very good. He let the play continue and then came back for the earlier challenge.
And they do like to press whenever they can. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. Never really close to the goal, and it will be a goal kick. Dybala. Di Maria now. Portugal have control of the ball again here. Leal has eyes for goal! Well, it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Silva. Will he finish? What a vital intervention. Just lost his focus, throw in here. Good officiating, waiting for the play to stop and now going back to caution him. Dybala. A spot on with that challenge. And Bernardo Silva has it. takes it away and teammates to play it to Bernardo Silva superb block a really intense pressure applied oh splendid skill well it's been a good last 15 minutes for Portugal they're having most of the ball now but if there is to be a winner in this you sense it started to become a matter of now or never not going to get too many more chances now Just showing a real will to win the ball well cleared away And Bernardo Silva has it. Oh, could be. Bernardo Silva on target and has scored. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. in there to intercept and he takes it on well the keeper is happy the bar was there and the danger is averted well they can all calm down now Derek they've got away with that one you have to say one minute of stoppage time has been added on He'll take this off, rifled against the post, but back in play. Well, threat over for now. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left.
Well, who is going to come out on top? Let's see if we find out in the second period of extra time. And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. And an opportunity here for Portugal to extend their lead. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, pressing really high. Martinez. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Martinez! And there it is! The equaliser! Down to ten men, but showing guts and determination. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Well, he's bound to be disappointed with himself. Not a great effort, Stuart. Well, the less said about that, the better. Not a good decision from him. Now, well, Molina. De Paul. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And a chance for him on the flank. Simple for the keeper, dealing with that long-range effort. Romero. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Well, let's call it a meaty effort, but certainly not accurate enough. Oh, managing to beat him. There's still danger here. Well, they survived the attack. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. Well, too much elevation in terms of the shot. Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. Well, he's given us away. Well, going for power from there, but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. Pressing high to win the ball. Oh, great attacking play. It needs an accurate cross. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Going for the short one. Nice looking pass. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. An interceptor there. Teammates in the middle. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Teammates available. Credit to them for winning back possession. And they're trying to get right into his face. Well, this is not ideal for him. He was booked earlier. 
and it will be his last act of the day. He's off. Well, what was he thinking? It's a silly tackle, isn't it? Well, a fantastic final, and it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. He takes aim. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And the penalty converted here. Can he get the better of the keeper? Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. And it's gone in. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And he scores! Clinical as always, in front of goal. And he steps up to take his penalty. Oh, he saved it! A goal here to finish it. Well, what an ending to a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Portugal, the world champions! And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them. Takes 